Hi everybody, it's Miss Carol again. I didn't think I was gonna have a story to read to you this week, but then an idea just jumped into my head. And so I thought about this book that I wanted to share with you. The name of the book is The Lord's Prayer. And that's also the name of a prayer that we say in church a lot. But we got the Lord's Prayer when Jesus decided to answer his friend's question. They asked him a question. How are we supposed to pray? And so this was his answer, the Lord's Prayer. And this book, The Lord's Prayer, is written by Robert Baden, and it's illustrated by Kathy Mittner. And it's not just the words of the Lord's Prayer. It's what the author thinks that, that those words mean for us. So the prayer sort of takes the Lord, the book sort of takes the Lord's Prayer and tells us what it means for us. So I'm going to share it with you. The Lord's Prayer. The twelve disciples watched their Lord as he knelt in prayer one day. Then one of them approached and said, Lord, teach us how to pray. So Jesus smiled and told his friends, Remember when you pray, you're talking to a loving God. And then you can pray this way. So he said, remember, you're just talking to a God who loves you when you pray. Dear Father, high on heaven's throne, great king of everything, we come as your dear children now. Please hear this prayer we bring. As boys and girls come eagerly to a mom or a dad who cares, we know that you are waiting too to hear your children's prayers. Just like we run to tell mom or dad something, we can run to tell God something too in prayer. We know that you're the holy God, but help us every day to show the world your holiness in all we do or say. Help us show other people how great God is by what we do. We know your kingdom has no end, but give us faith to share your love with all so everyone can join us in this prayer. We want everybody to know Jesus so that they can pray right along with us. We know your mighty will takes place without our words of prayer, but we are weak and can't survive without your watchful care. Don't let the treasures of the world make us lose sight of you. Please let your word show clearly what your will would have us do. So God's will happens whether we pray for it or not. But we pray that his will would be done with us. That we would understand when we study the Bible what God wants us to do. When we're hungry, give us food. When we're tired, send us some rest. We know you'll give us all we need and it will be the best. And help us also realize how you have blessed our days. Help us appreciate your gifts and give you thanks and praise. So we can pray for things that we need and God would give us the very best that he knows that we need. And when we fail to do your will and choose instead to sin, forgive us, Father. Call us back and make us yours again. So sometimes we all mess up 
And then we have to ask God to forgive us. And when evil things are done to us and angry feelings start, teach us to be like you and speak forgiveness from our heart. Sometimes people do mean things to us. And then just like God forgives us, then we want to forgive them too, even if they were wrong and we were right. That's the way God would want us to do. Forgive them. When Satan comes with tempting words, help us to turn away. Without your power on our side, sin always gets in the way. What do you think this little girl is thinking about doing that could be wrong? Hmm. Do you think maybe she's thinking about taking that ring without paying for it? That would be wrong, wouldn't it? So we ask God, God, help us to say no when we know things are wrong. Help us to say, no, I'm not going to do that because I know that's wrong. And when at last the hour comes that death is standing by, come quickly then and take us home to live with you on high. And heaven above this world of pain, unhappiness and tears, we'll sing your praise together with saints throughout the years. So we know that God has a place ready for us in heaven to live with him as his friends. Dear Father, mighty King of all, you rule with perfect love in both your kingdom of this world and in the world above. All power on earth and heaven is yours. And yet, both great and small, know that you'll hear and answer to the prayers of one and all. So we know that God has always promised that he would hear our prayers and listen to what we say. Even though he's the king of the whole world, he's gonna listen to me, just plain old Miss Carol. He's gonna listen to my prayer. All glory is forever yours. You are the Holy One, but also Father, now accept our praise for all you've done. Now, as we end our prayer to you, we speak aloud, Amen. We know you hear our words today, and you seek our prayers again. It's wonderful. God wants us to pray to him. God wants us to talk to him. Tell us, tell him what we're afraid of, what we're scared of, what's bothering us, and also, Tell him how grateful we are for all the things he's given us. Amazing that we can pray to him. Just like he told his disciples to pray for him, he tells you and me to pray to him as well. I hope you have a good week. I miss seeing you, but we'll see each other soon. Love you.